hello good evening and uh, good morning everyone so this is my second part and as i have said uh, to upload the part b in my upcoming videos so this is my part b of uh, the further lecture series of lecture series antenna fundamentals okay so let's get started so and before get starting mai ye bolna chahungi ki uh, thank you very much for the uh, so much of views and comments and subscriptions and in future i would like ki mai uh, ऐसे ही अपने वीडियोस को कोशिश करूं कि वो और सब्सक्रिप्शन पढ़े एंड मोर लर्नर्स वुड ग्रो एंड मोर लर्नर्स वुड ज्वाइन एंड एनी अदर वुड ज्वाइन सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू Uh, tell you about some of the antenna fundamentals which are very very important when you designing any antenna like aap agar cf cst mein design karte ho ya hfss pe design karte ho ya koi bhi software pe if you design an antenna then these fu antenna fundamentals are very 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 important to know so in this my particular lecture i have given a brief review for these so let's get started so these are my lecture outlines the basics of antenna and types of antenna i have already completed in my part a video so please guys uh, go to that video and please watch before watching this video it will make you more clear understanding and gives you a brief outline about the antenna understanding so and in this particular video i am going to talking about the important parameters of antenna so here it is the fundamental parameters of antenna see there are various parameters of the antenna okay and in my particular video maine wahi parameters ko mention kiya hai jo ki bahut important hai aur har jagah koi bhi designing up karoge to ye sab parameters considerable hai now coming to the first parameter is the radiation pattern okay you know like jab antenna okay wait a second ha huh, guys mm Uh, okay you know that ki uh, when there is an antenna okay when there is an antenna okay it will radiate em waves okay it will radiate some of the em waves jab ye em waves ko radiate karega to it will form a radiation pattern theek hai to in this i am going to tell about what is the radiation pattern an antenna radiation pattern is a pattern which is defined as a mathematical function yani radiation pattern ko hum log demonstrate karte hain as a mathematical function ki tarah or a graphical representation of radiation properties of the antenna okay it means antenna ke radiation pattern ko hum log mention karte hain in terms of space coordinate that is space coordinate it means like x okay like y okay and like z okay and maybe the power patterns can also be there or electric or voltage pattern can also be there you can better understand by this particular mm, you can see here is this figure yes this is my radiation pattern okay like uh, maybe there is an antenna maybe this is an antenna theek hai aur ye agar maan lo ki radiate kar raha hai em waves in this okay and in a particular direction mein wo agar radiate kar raha hai maan lo ki ye iska ek particular direction hai theek hai ye maan lo ki ye mera hai antenna ka radiation theek hai antenna ne generate kiya ye radiation so this is my मेन दैट इज दिस इज माई मेन रेडिएशन दैट इज एक पर्टिकुलर रेडिएशन मतलब कि एंटेना जब रेडिएट करता है तो वो एक पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन में उसका रेडिएशन जो है वो सबसे ज्यादा होगा सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन आवर रेडिएशन इज मोर दैट इज इन जेड डायरेक्शन सो दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया सी एज इट इज इट इज कंसिडर टू बी अ मेजर लोब एंड बाकी जो रेडिएशन करेगा वो लाइक बैकवर्ड्स और साइड वर्ड्स दीज साइड वर्ड्स आर कंसिडर टू बी द साइड लोब्स दिस इज अगर यहाँ पर अगर एंटेना एकदम जस्ट अपोजिट टू द मेन डायरेक्शन अगर रेडिएट करता है सो दिस इज कंसिडर टू बी द बैक लोब एंड ऑल दीज आर कंसिडर टू बी द माइनर लोब्स सो यही यहाँ मैंशन किया है सी इन दिस कि द रेडिएशन पैटर्न इज डिफाइंड एंड आगे मैं बताऊंगी आपको कि हमारा जो रेडिएशन पैटर्न होता है एंटीना का वो बेसिकली डिफाइंड होता है इन फार फील्ड रीजन में दैट इज वेन आर डी दैट इज वेयर डी इज अ डिस्टेंस दैट इज वेयर डी इज अ लेंथ ऑफ एन मतलब हमारा जो डी है कैपिटल ठीक है वो डी जो है वो डिस्टेंस है मतलब कि जो हमारा एंटीना का जो हाइट होगा ओके okay, उसको हम लोग डी ले रहे हैं मतलब कि मे बी इट मे बी डाइपोल एंटीना लाइक वी रेड इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो अगर इसका डिस्टेंस अगर इसका लेंथ अगर डी है तो द रेडिएशन पैटर्न जो है वो हम लोग हम लोग हमेशा डिटरमाइन करते हैं इन फार फील्ड दैट इज वेन डी इज मोर देन इक्वल्स टू टू डी स्क्वायर अपॉन लैमडा ठीक है एंड द डायग्राम आई जस्ट शोड 
दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम एंड दीज आर द वेरियस थीटा एंगल जो मैं आगे आपको जरूर बताऊंगी सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द रेडिएशन पैटर्न द रेडिएशन पैटर्न okay this is also a radiation pattern see you can see this is the major lobe the major direction pattern when antenna radiate theek hai aur half power beam width and uh, full null beam width we'll also talk about in my further series ye sab baatein hongi this is my power pattern see i have told you na that ki hamara jo radiation hota hai theek hai wo hum log space coordinate that is x y z ke form mein likhte hain theek hai aur इट मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फंक्शन मतलब अगर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड का फंक्शन हो ठीक है लाइक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड का फंक्शन हो और इट मे बी लाइक पावर का फंक्शन हो ठीक है लाइक ये सी दिस इज द फील्ड पैटर्न लाइक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड पैटर्न है ठीक है यानी कि हम लोग रेडिएशन पैटर्न जो ड्रॉ करेंगे विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अ स्पेस कॉर्डिनेट वो या तो फिर ई पैटर्न होगा लाइक दिस इज द ई पैटर्न होगा और इट मे बी अ पावर पैटर्न एंड डेसेबल यू नो दैट सो दीज ऑल आर Now my second parameter is the radiation lobe. Just now मैंने आपको radiation pattern में ही बता दिया that the various parts of radiation pattern are referred to as lobes. It means the major lobe, the main lobe, the major or main lobe, the minor lobe, the side lobes and the back lobes. A major lobe is defined as a radiation lobe which contains a direction. It means a major lobe contains a direction of maximum radiation. मतलब अगर antenna radiate कर रहा है in a particular direction में, like for example in z direction, it means a major lobe is in the z direction. A minor lobe is a lobe. मतलब major lobe को अगर हम लोग हटा दे तो बाकी जो lobes बचेगा, these are the minor lobes. Now the third is the side lobes. A side lobe is a radiation lobe in any other direction than the intended lobe. Intended means if we required a direction in the z direction, then बाकी जो z directions में lobe आएगा, that is considered to be a side lobes. ठीक है? And next I have told you that back lobe is a radiation lobe just opposite, that is which makes an angle of one eighty degree with respect to a beam of an antenna. So this is, if you can see, this is our major lobe, this is our back lobe, and this is our minor lobes. And full null beam width and half null beam width. See, uh, see students, if we talk about the half null beam width, ठीक है? तो half null beam width का मतलब होता है कि अगर मतलब अगर इसका जो है मतलब कि ये हमारा जो angle है, अगर वो cut करेगा हमारे चारे कोनों को, it means definition I'll explain uh, further. अगर आगे बढ़ेंगे तो जस्ट यू कैन सी द हाफ नल बीम विथ इज दिस एंगल ओके एंड द फुल नल बीम विथ इज दिस एंगल ओके दिस आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन माई फर्दर वीडियो जस्ट हैव पेशेंस जस्ट नाउ जस्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज द मेजर लोब दिस इज द साइड लोब एंड दिस इज द बैक लोब एंड दीज प्लस माइनस साइंस डिटर्मिनेट कि ये दिखाता है कि हमारा मतलब इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड का डायरेक्शन या मैग्नेटिक फील्ड का डायरेक्शन या किस डायरेक्शन में वो प्लस में है या माइनस में सी इफ आई एम सेइंग कि हम लोग रेडिएशन पैटर्न ड्रॉ कर रहे हैं इन फील्ड पैटर्न और पावर पैटर्न तो इन फील्ड पैटर्न हमारा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड भी आता है एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड भी आता है ओके सो बोथ कम्स Now my next is the uh, okay. This is not uh, any uh, parameter, but it is just an explanation. Like, what do you mean by an isotropic pattern? An isotropic radiator is a hypothetical. It means कि ऐसा कोई antenna नहीं होता जो कि चारों तरफ मतलब कि equal radiations दे in all directions. So isotropic pattern is considered to be an hypothetical pattern. Directional pattern pattern is a very practical. Okay, it is a directional antenna is a one having the property of radiating or receiving EM waves more effectively in some direction. It means if we want uh, the radiation to be in a z direction, then we are saying that it has a proper directivity in z direction. So these are considered to be a directional antenna. And baki uh, jo other patterns hoga ya less uh, referring pattern hoga ya jo less significant patterns hoga, wo uske other directions mein aayega. Omni directional pattern is a one which has an essentially non-directional pattern in any given plane. It means, in a further lecture, I will tell you that azimuthal and elevation are the difference. Hai, hai? Just for now, you just understand that omni directional pattern means that it is a pattern or antenna which has a non-directional pattern. Hoga, ki it has no direction in a given plane. That is, if we consider an azimuthal plane, 
then it has a no direction in that particular plane and directional pattern in any orthogonal plane like सी अजिमुथल का मतलब होता है कि अगर हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड को कंसिडर करते हैं इन अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेन दैट इज अगर हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड को कंसिडर करते हैं इन द हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लेन देन जस्ट इज परपेंडिकुलर प्लेन लाइक सी दिस इज इफ इज इफ दिस इज एन हॉरिजॉन्टल इट्स परपेंडिकुलर विल बी द वर्टिकल प्लेन ठीक है तो इसका मतलब है कि ओमी डायरेक्शनल एंटीना का मतलब होता है कि इट विल हैव अ नॉन डायरेक्शनल पैटर्न इन दिस अजिमुथल प्लेन एंड इन जस्ट परपेंडिकुलर टू अ प्लेन दैट इज द एलिवेशन प्लेन इट विल हैव अ डायरेक्शनल पैटर्न ठीक है सो वी कैन से दैट ओमी डायरेक्शनल पैटर्न इज अ टाइप ऑफ डायरेक्शनल पैटर्न ऑल्सो ओके सो दीज आर द पैटर्न सिग्निफिकेशन नाउ ओके this i want that this figure must be understand very very clearly okay guys so agar maan lo ye mera measure lobe hai see you can see our measure lobe agar hum consider karte hain electric field so it's in a x direction and if this is an e plane if yani it means we are considering the e plane in the vertical direction that is it is a vertical plane and i am considering the h plane in the horizontal direction to so, sare <coughs> sorry सो so, एंटीना के सारे पैरामीटर्स के लिए हम डिफाइन करते हैं ई प्लेन और एच प्लेन ठीक है सो इफ दिस इज माय मेजर लोब इन एक्स डायरेक्शन माय ऑल द साइड लोब्स आर इन द फर्दर डायरेक्शन तो यू कैन सी माय इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इन द दिस डायरेक्शन एंड माय एच फील्ड इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट मीन्स एन ई एम वेव इन एक्स डायरेक्शन इट मीन्स If my electric field is in y direction, my EM wave is in x direction, and therefore my H field is in y direction. So you can see they are forming a right hand rule that is x, y, and z directions. So this is all about you just have to understand this figure, okay? Like if it this is the horn antenna, okay? And horn antenna is radiating some radiation in a particular direction that is the x, and therefore us particular lobe me hamne show kiya hai electric field ka direction or magnetic field ka direction. Now my third uh, third uh, parameter is the principal pattern. Okay. Now for linearly polarized antenna, performance is often described in terms of E and H plane. Okay. The E plane is a plane which contain electric field vector. Just now I've showed and the direction of maximum radiation. And H plane is the plane which contains magnetic field vector and direction of maximum radiation. Okay. Now up. and now i am going to explain about the elevation plane what do you mean by an elevation plane theek hai to the principal e plane matlab just now you have seen the principal e plane if this is an e plane the principal e plane ko hum log consider karte hain to be an elevation plane it means x and z direction see this plane is an xz plane theek hai to xz plane ko hum log consider karte hain the like the xz plane is considered to be an elevation plane and the xy plane is considered to be an azimuthal plane so you have to understand aur ye aapko yaad rakhna hoga that a principal e plane ko hum log consider kar rahe hain elevation plane which has an angle of phi equals to 0 and the azimuthal plane hum log consider kar rahe hain xy plane ko that is the h plane so you just have to understand that elevation plane is the principal e plane and the azimuthal plane is the principal h plane okay now my next parameter is the field region so just have uh, just now i have told you that i will explain you a field region and therefore this is my field region and jaisa maine kaha tha ki antenna radiate only when d is more than equals to 2d square upon lambda so you can see this is the far field region if this is my dipole antenna of see length capital d this is the r1 radius this is the r2 radius theek hai so agar hamara d less than hoga r1 ke then that is considered to be the reactive near field region if hamara d agar r1 aur r2 ke beech mein lie karega then that field is the radiating near field region or fresnel region and if my d is greater than r2 then that is considered to be a far field and generally r antenna generate or um, रेडिएट फील्ड इन फार फील्ड रीजन ठीक है और ये क्यों होता है इसके बारे में डिटेल स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन डू और इफ यू वॉन्ट कि मेरा एंटना पैटर्न थोड़ा डिटेलिंग में हो देन आई श्योरली प्रोवाइड ऑल द वीडियोज फर्दर जस्ट फॉर नाउ यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैन एंटीना रेडिएट मच बेटर और मच सिग्निफिकेंट वेन डी वेन आर डी इज मोर देन टू डी स्क्वायर अपॉन लैमडा ओके Okay now next look further 
Now next is next uh, my parameter is the radian and steradian angle. Okay, just now I have explained you about a theta and a phi angle guys. So now I am going to explain about the radian and steradian. It is just a basic and maybe you have learned in your BTEC uh, or in, in any basic studies. This is my radium. What do you mean by a radian? A radian is a measure of a plane angle. Okay, like theta. A theta is the measure of plane angle. So a one radian is defined as a plane angle with its vertex at the center of a circle of radius r that is subtended by an arc whose length is r. So you you know that ki, uh, we know that our circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So if 2 pi r divided by r length of the r that is r and therefore we get and therefore the total angle theta is equals to we get 2 pi. Okay, so radian is simply equals to a 2 pi. You have just have run, so I'm just going brief and I'm just explaining about the contents which I have just written. So uh, 1 radian is equals to 2 pi. And this is a steradian angle. See, steradian angle jo hai, wo hum log define karte hai for a solid object ke liye, like a radiation pattern. So we know that ki a radiation pattern jo hai, wo defined hoga in a 3D structure. Pe, hai? So for radiation pattern, we define a steradian angle. And what is a steradian angle? So, a steradian angle is a measure of a solid angle. And one steradian is defined as a solid angle with its vertex at the center of a sphere of radius r, which is subtended by a spherical surface area equal to that of a square with each side of length r. Okay, so a steradian angle means if this is my, if, if, we know that area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. So, a radiation pattern ko, matab ki ek radiation pattern ko, agar hum log consider kare area of the sphere and is, pa is particular direction mein agar hum log ko radiation mil raha hai, then steradian angle jo hoga, that is one steradian angle will be equal hoga to area of this particular sphere agar hum log isko consider kare as a sphere ki tarah because sphere is a 3D. So, if this is the sphere and area is 4 pi r square, then area of the square divided by the area of square because this particular area ko hum log consider kar rahe as area of square ki tarah isliye 4 pi r square ko agar hum log iske area se divide karenge then we get 4 pi okay so once t radian jo hai wo equal hoga to 1 4 pi so ye ho gaya hamara radian aur t radian ke bare mein and uh, if we consider a small da area then da area jo hoga will be equal hoga to r square and sin theta d theta and d phi if you have read EMT theory, because I will EMT basics here, but if you have read EMT theory, then you have read about the differential area. Okay? You have read about the differential area. So this differential area is all about, that is R square, sin theta, d theta and d phi. So these theta and phi are the angle and R square sin theta. And therefore, if we divide the radian angle, divide karte hai, then we define d omega angle. ठीक है ये है d omega angle just like कि radian में हम लोग d theta angle define करते हैं and this we define a d omega angle and it is written as d omega angle is equals to r d area by total r square area of a square and therefore we get the element of the solid angle d omega it means कि हम लोग steel radian में omega define करते हैं and that is equals to sin theta d theta d phi guys मैं आपको ये इसलिए पढ़ा रही हूँ because Radian and steradian plays a very basic role. Agar aapko even if, because I am just covering the basic, okay. So if you didn't understood, please tell me in the comment box. I'll provide the feedback. I'll provide the more videos and maybe just also the notes of this particular uh, lecture series or maybe you can also refer to the books there are various books of EMT theory Aapne BTEC mein bhi padha hoga. so this is all about now my next parameter is the power density okay so a quantity which is used to describe the power which is see jab electromagnet em waves agar antenna generate kar raha hai, then there is a power related to it like uh, we know that ki current jo hai wo electric matlab ki jo flow kar raha hai em waves wo pehle wire mein jo aaya wo current aur voltage ke form mein tha aur jab wo em wave mein matlab free space mein flow kiya to uske paas kuch power hoga then that power is associated with an em wave and that particular power is considered to be a pointing vector yani us particular power ko hum log express karte hain in the form of pointing vector so uh ek second you will get the idea so if w is my pointing vector that is instantaneous pointing vector then my w ka expression jo hoga wo hoga electric field into magnetic field intensity and agar and 
अगर हम लोग को इस पॉइंट ए वेक्टर से पावर निकालना होगा फॉर द ई एम वेव देन वी जस्ट हैव टू इंटीग्रेट सिंस दिस पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर को हम लोग डिफाइन कर रहे हैं विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सम एरिया एंड देर फोर जब इंटीग्रेट करेंगे तो अगर हम लोग स्मॉल एलिमेंट का डी एस एलिमेंट कंसिडर कर रहे थे अगर मान लो कि ये पर्टिकुलर लोब है ठीक है और अगर दिस स्मॉल एरिया में अगर मान लो कि जनरेट हो रहा है तो अगर इसका पूरा इंटीग्रेशन ले लेंगे देन वी गेट द होल पावर ऑफ दिस ई एम वेव एंड देर फोर द पावर विच वी गेट वी गेट द पॉइंटिंग वैक्टर डॉट डी एस इंटीग्रेशन ओवर द सरफेस ठीक है, सो वी गेट अबाउट दिस एंड वी नो दैट बाय ईएम दिस इज ऑल द बेसिक ईएम, ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर फोर अ रेडिएटेड पावर जो होगा विल बी इक्वल होगा टू दैट पॉइंटिंग वेक्टर और पावर रेडिएटेड सो दिस इज माय पावर रेडिएटेड व्हिच इज इक्वल्स टू डब्ल्यू रेडिएटेड दैट इज रेडिएटेड पावर डॉट डी एस एंड दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज दैट वी नो दैट डब्ल्यू कैन बी रिटर्न एज ई क्रॉस एच दिस इज द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट स्टूडेंट्स सो वन बाय टू रियल पार्ट ऑफ ई क्रॉस एच स्ट्रीक एंड एच स्ट्रीक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इज लाइक इफ एच इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स वैल्यू देन इसका स्ट्रीक वैल्यू जो होगा वो उसका जस्ट कॉन्जुकेट सो अ पावर रेडिएटेड द पावर रेडिएटेड बाय ई एम वे विल बी इक्वल होगा टू वन बाय टू क्लोज इंटीग्रल ऑफ सरफेस रियल पार्ट ऑफ ई क्रॉस एच डॉट डी एस फैक्टर ओके ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन सेकेंड गाइज ओके नाउ माई नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज द रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी ओके सो अ रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज द पावर रेडिएटेड फ्रॉम एन एंटीना पर यूनिट सॉलिड एंगल ओके जस्ट नाउ वी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द सॉलिड एंगल सो अ रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी मीन्स अगर एंटीना जो रेडिएट कर रहा है अ पर्टिकुलर बीम तो इसका रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी कितना होगा इट इज गिवन बाई अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला एंड देर फोर यू इज इक्वल्स टू आर स्क्वेयर डब्ल्यू रेडिएटेड एंड डब्ल्यू रेडिएटेड वी जस्ट फाउंड आउट इन आर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम where u is the radiation intensity in watt per unit solid angle w radiated is the radiation density and total power is obtained by integrating the radiation intensity over the entire solid angle see this is the radiation intensity okay and if we want to obtain the power radiated okay so see the power radiated formula will be equal to agar hum total radiation intensity ko integrate karte hain because we have defined radiation intensity in terms of watt per unit solid angle so agar hum log ko watt chahiye to hum log integrate karenge radiation intensity ko with respect to a d omega that is a solid angle so we can obtain we can get the p radiated that is the power radiated by the antenna in a particular em wave so u and d omega we know that u sin theta sin theta d theta and d omega so and we know that for an and uh, just now i have told you that for an isotropic antenna the antenna will radiate in a all a particular directions in the equal amount so for a isotropic source the u will be independent of theta and phi because in isotropic antenna mein kya ho raha hai ki radiation jo ho raha hai wo charo taraf equally ho raha hai so it will not depend upon theta or phi okay so in that particular condition the p radiated will which we will get will be equal to u not d omega and if u not agar hum log bahar rakhte as a constant and d omega integrate then we know that uh, total steel radian angle is equals to 4 pi and there for 4 pi u not where u not will be equal to power radiated by 4 pi that is p radiated by divided by 4 pi and therefore u not is the radiation intensity of an isotropic source okay and why uh, we are considering the u not because we are taking that ki uh, for an isotropic antenna there should be uh, no any particular direction of theta and phi and that's why hum log ne 4 pi consider kiya now my next parameter is the beam width and just now i have explained you about this major lobe and minor lobe so in this particular case this is the beam width so the beam width of the pattern is defined as the angular separation between the two identical points on the opposite sides of the pattern so if this is the pattern maximum okay so these are the two opposite points so these opposite points ke beech ka jo angular separation hai usko hum log kehte hain to be the beam width theek hai this is the beam width and beam width jo hai wo two tarah ka hum log consider karte hain एक होता है हाफ पावर बीम विट द हाफ पावर बीम विट इज इन अ प्लेन कंटेनिंग अ डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैक्सिमम ऑफ द बीम द एंगल बिटवीन द टू डायरेक्शन इन विच सी द हाफ पावर बीम इज डिफाइंड एज जब हमारा रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी जो होगा वो वन हाफ होगा मतलब अगर ये हमारा अगर ई एम इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू अगर ई एम हमारा मैक्सिमम वैल्यू है ठीक है 
if EEM is the maximum value of our uh, maximum major low, then our uh, HBBW, that is the half power beam width, वो तब होगा when our radiation intensity जो होगा वो one half होगा that is one by two of the EM. The another important beam width is the first null beam width. First null beam width का मतलब होता है कि the it is referred as the angular separation between the first nulls that is this this angle. Okay, this angle is first considered to be the first null beam width. And if you have read about the antenna um, fundamentals earlier, then we know that the half power beam width is also considered to be an angular separation when our power density, that is the EM, is one by two, or our maximum EM hoga wo equal hoga to one by root two times. Okay, that is uh, three decibel, three decibel down. Okay. Now my next parameter is a very important that is the directivity. Just now I have directivity ke mein explain kiya that a directivity of an antenna is defined as a ratio of your radiation intensity. See, if I define mathematical terms, mein define nahi karu, so directivity is defined as if this is beam of the radiation. Hai, hai? And if antenna radiate the beam in a particular direction, then that is considered to be a directivity in a particular direction. And therefore, directivity ka jo mathematical formula hai, uh, that is also defined in the same way as a ratio of the radiation intensity in a given direction, that is Z direction, from an antenna to a radiation intensity average over all directions. That is, sometimes we also consider an isotropic antenna. Okay? So this is my D and therefore D is equals to U by U naught. That is U is in this particular direction mein hamara radiation jo hai wo maximum hai. Usme hum log U consider kar rahe, radiation intensity and U naught is for the isotropic antenna. And we know that U naught is equals to P radiated by 4 pi. Agar direction specify nahi ho, then in that particular condition mein hum log direction jo lenge maximum radiation intensity ka, that is expressed as, so in that condition mein U jo hoga, wo humar expressed hoga as U max ki tarah, thik hai? To U max hoga by U naught. So directivity is just the maximum radiation ek particular direction mein by the antenna. And see, uh, in a CST designing, जब आप CST में antenna design करोगे, then हमें मैंने अभी तक जो भी आपको parameters पढ़ाया है, वो सब आप plot करोगे और आपको वो result obtained होगा by your particular design, by your particular directions. तो एक होता है parameter जिसमें हम लोगों को radiation lobe मिलता है, radiation pattern मिलता है, ठीक है? तो in this particular diagram, I have only shown that कि ये अगर हमारा major lobe आ रहा है, अगर हमारा हमारा major lobe इस तरफ आ रहा है, ये major lobe है, तो major lobe में directivity कैसे show होता है? तो see, we can see that red jo hai picturized kar raha hai maximum directivity then yellow picturized kar hai less directivity then green then blue and blue see this is the scale okay and directivity is as we know it is a dimensionless quantity now my next parameter is the antenna efficiency see if the antenna is radiating a particular beam then it have a certain efficiency matlab ki wo kitna efficiency dega yani ki jab hum log input power dete hain kisi bhi antenna ko to wo kitna radiate kar pata hai that is considered to be an efficiency so a total antenna efficiency e naught is used to take into account so antenna efficiency mein hum log sare un losses ko consider karte hain see when antenna I go through a transmission line, a transmission line may be lossy or may be lossless. Therefore, it have some of its dielectric loss or conduction loss. So, antenna efficiency may hum consider karte hai all its losses with its also radiation characteristic. See, the overall efficiency can be written as E0 equals to ER, EC and ED, where E0 is a total efficiency and ER is considering as a mismatch efficiency or reflection loss. Okay? And we know that ki hum log gamma represent karte as a reflection coefficient ki tarah and you know that gamma is equals to like total reflection by total incident and EC is the conduction efficiency okay? and ED is the dielectric efficiency so EC and ED jo have related hai with the transmission line or our ER jo have related hai to a reflection efficiency and we know that gamma is the voltage reflection coefficient and this is the voltage standing wave ratio this you might be know 1 plus gamma by 1 minus gamma typically ideal value jo hota hai VSWR ka it should be live from the 1 to 2 okay so a voltage standing wave ratio we know that a voltage standing wave ratio is uh, given as 1 plus rho by 1 minus rho okay and uh, wait a sec okay so this is my voltage standing wave ratio
okay guys and uh, this uh, the voltage reflection coefficient okay so voltage reflection coefficient has also formula is equal to that is total power jo ki reflect karega that is total power jo ki reflected ho gaya by antenna and it is divided by total power jo ki input hoga to antenna mein okay so this and here we are representing this in a form of the uh, input impedance that is tau is equals to z in minus z not where z not is a characteristic impedance of a transmission line by z in plus z not this you have read in a basics of the antenna and also in a emt theory basically more my next parameter is the gain that is the antenna gain okay and antenna gain is also more or less related to a antenna efficiency a gain of an antenna is defined as a ratio of the intensity in a given direction okay to the radiation intensity that would be obtained if power accepted by antenna were radiated isotropically theek okay? hai so gain of radiation ko hum log mathematically hi define karte hain and it is given as gain is equals to radiation intensity that is total radiation intensity in a given direction that is u theta and phi by total input power see ye ab agar nahi consider karenge so gain is equals to u by total see the ratio of the intensity in a given direction that is u theta and phi to a radiation intensity that would obtained if power accepted by the antenna were radiated isotropically that is in this we are consider a u not u not and in this u not jo hum log consider karenge usme power jo hoga wo radiated nahi hoga in this we are considering the input power and that's why u not jo hai hum log consider kar rahe hain p in by 4 pi and gain is a dimensionless quantity so these are the parameters jo ki bahut hi important hai and whenever you design the antenna in any cst or any software like hfss or any other software these parameters are utmost important and you will get the result in the form of these only my next parameter is the beam efficiency okay so the another parameter which is frequently used to judge the quality of a transmitting and receiving antenna is the beam efficiency a beam efficiency is given as total power jo ki received hoga within a particular like if this is an antenna if this is the beam width theek hai to beam efficiency ka matlab hota hai ki wo antenna jo beam radiate kiya उसका एफिशिएंसी कितना होगा सो द पावर जो कि ट्रांसमिट होगा या रिसीव्ड विद इन अ कोन एंगल ऑफ थीटा वन दैट इज इफ वी आर कंसिडरिंग अ थीटा वन एंगल तो इसके बियॉन्ड इसके आसपास जो एंगल पावर ट्रांसमिट हुआ टू पावर रिसीव्ड बाय टोटल पावर जो कि रिसीव्ड होगा बाय एंटीना सो अगर हम लोग बीम एफिशिएंसी निकाल रहे हैं तो हम लोग किसी पर्टिकुलर एंगल के बीच में निकालेंगे एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज कंसिडर टू बी अ बीम एफिशिएंसी ठीक है तो बीम एफिशिएंसी यू कैन सी रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन टू साइन थीटा एंड डी थीटा एंड डी फाइव एंड हेयर वी आर कंसिडरिंग द एंगल दैट इज पावर जो कि ट्रांसमिट या रिसीव्ड होगा विद इन विद इन अ कोन एंगल ऑफ थीटा वन ठीक है तो ये हो गया थीटा जीरो टू थीटा वन एंड दिस इज द फाइव एंगल बाय total radiation intensity with sin theta and d theta and d phi which we have further run in a previous lecture uh, previous uh, parts my next parameter is a bandwidth and it's very important because bandwidth defines the frequency range because uh, jab bhi aap koi antenna design karenge to you have to mention ki aap log kaun sa bandwidth lenge like maybe it will be from 1 to 10 hertz maybe from a 2 to 13 hertz and in that particular between between mein aapko koi aisi frequency chahiye hogi like 2.4 hertz or anything so a bandwidth is defined as a range of frequency within which a performance of the antenna is corrected that is एंटीना को जो परफॉर्मेंस होगा वो हम लोग जज करेंगे विद इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज ओनली द बैंडविथ इज ऑफन कंसिडर्ड एज अ रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑन ईदर साइड ऑफ द सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी सिंस वी नो दैट कि सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ सी है मान लो कि इफ दिस इज द एफ सी पॉइंट ठीक है इफ दिस इज द एफ सी पॉइंट देन एंड दिस इज आर लोअर बैंडविथ एंड दिस इज आर अपर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो ये जो रेंज होता है ठीक है दैट रेंज इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ बैंडविथ एंड देयर फोर अ बैंडविथ इज डिफाइंड एज अ रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑन ईदर साइड ऑफ सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी वेयर द एंटेना कैटरिस्टिक लाइक इनपुट एम्पर्डेंस पैटर्न और अभी तक हमने जो भी पैरामीटर्स पढ़ा लाइक बीम विद पोलराइजेशन वील रीड साइड लोब लेवल गेन बीम डायरेक्शन एंड रेडिएशन एफिशियंसी दे आर विद इन होगा एन एक्सेप्टेबल वैल्यू एट अ पर्टिकुलर सेंटर फ्रीक्वेंसी नो मैं नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज पॉलराइजेशन ठीक है 
हम लोग नहीं चाहते अबाउट इट्स लाइक जो डेफिनेशन कह रहा है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट यू मीन बाय पॉलराइजेशन तो एंटीना जो रेडिएट करेगा बीम ठीक है एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर बीम हम लोग ने पढ़ा कि इसमें इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड भी होगा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड भी होगा सो अ डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन अ पर्टिकुलर बीम और पर्टिकुलर रेडिएशन पैटर्न इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ पॉलराइजेशन ठीक है एंड दे फोर एंड वी नो दैट एन एंटना इज अ ट्रांसड्यूसर विच कन्वर्ट अ रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू ई एम वेव विच आर रेडिएटेड इन फ्री स्पेस एंड दे फोर द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सी द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड प्लेन जो है वो डिटरमाइन करता है पॉलराइजेशन पॉलराइजेशन मीन्स द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ रेडियो वेव मतलब कि इलेक्ट्रोमैटिक वेव जो रेडिएट करेगा ठीक है उनका जो मतलब उसका जो ओरिएंटेशन होगा मतलब उसका जो पॉलराइजेशन होगा वो कहाँ होगा तो वो हम लोग पर्टिकुलर फाइन करते हैं बाय इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डायरेक्शन एंड पॉलराइजेशन कैन बी लीनियरली पॉलराइज मैट इज मे बी एंटेना का डायरेक्शन जो है वो लीनियरली पॉलराइज हो और मे बी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड जो है वो लीनियर हो मे बी इट कुड बी सर्कुलर ऑल्सो एंड हेयर यू कैन सी बाई डायग्राम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड मोर सी दिस इज द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलराइजेशन लाइक दिस इज द लीनियर पॉलराइजेशन लाइक एंटेना अगर रेडिएट करेगा इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ साइन वेव्स देन दिस इज द लीनियर पॉलराइजेशन दिस इज द सर्कुलर पॉलराइजेशन इट मीन्स की अगर एंटेना का ई मतलब इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अगर कंसिडर करते हैं देन ई एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड ई वाई डायरेक्शन ये दोनों सर्कुलेट करेगा मतलब प्रोपिगेट करेगा एंड दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉलराइजेशन ठीक है एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसिडरेशन अबाउट द पॉलराइजेशन इज कि लीनियर सर्कुलर और इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉलराइजेशन जो होता है वो डिफाइंड होता है बाय एक्सीएल रेशियो ठीक है ए आर ठीक है एक्सीएल रेशियो एंड वी डो नॉट विल गो इन सच अ differ explanation but just remember that axial ratio is defined as the ratio of the electric field components like ey and ex theek okay? hai so like in linear polarization mein axial ratio is equals to like zero circular polarization mein axial ratio is equals to 1 and elliptical mein axial uh, ratio is more than 1 okay and uh, the most important formula for If you are understanding the antenna parameter, is the Frisch transmission formula okay? The Frisch transmission formula was given by a, by a Frisch scientist. That is, see, if this is a transmitting antenna and this is the receiving antenna, okay? So this is the transmitting antenna and it is radiating with an angle of theta t and phi t, and these are its parameter like p t, g t, t t, e c d t, tau t and rho t, and these are the receiving antenna. And, and if r is the distance between the transmitting and receiving antenna, then See, the Frisch transmission equation relates the power received to a power. यानी कि जितना power जो है वो ये particular antenna transmit करेगा और ये particular receiving antenna जो है कितना power receive करेगा that particular relationship is defined by a Frisch transmission formula. ठीक है सो दे फोर एंड द फ्रिज ट्रांसमिशन फॉर्मूला इज डिफाइंड फॉर अ डिस्टेंस दैट इज आर डिस्टेंस होगा दैट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू एंटीना शुड बी मोर देन टू डी टू डी अपॉन लैमडा ओके वेड डी इज द लार्जेस्ट डायमेंशन ऑफ द इधर एंटीना एंड सी पी आर दैट इज द रेडिएटेड पावर जो है विल बी इक्वल होगा टू अ पावर ट्रांसमिटेड इन टू ई टी ई आर दैट इज द एफिशियंसी इन टू वेव लेंथ स्क्वेयर इन टू डी टी दैट इज थीटा टी एंड फाइव टी एंड डी आर एंड and 4 by r square so this particular formula is the major important okay if you are considering the antenna parameter or agar aapko frisch transmission formula se radiated power ka equation mil raha hai so this is a more important formula and uh, this particular formula has a very huge understanding uh, when you are also plotting so this plays a role and in this uh, Uh, this also includes some loss exponents also uh, and here in this particular formula i have not mentioned but here the loss equation jo hai wo equal to hota hai lambda by 4 pi r square inverse theek hai ye jo hota hai inverse matlab minus 1 that is uh, the loss exponent that is the lp the loss exponent because agar uh, radiate antenna kar raha hai to free space mein kuch iska losses hoga so this is considered to be a free space loss that is 4 pi r square upon lambda square okay so this is the lp exponent so by this particular equation you can know about the amount of power radiated when pt amount of power is transmitted by a transmitted antenna 
so this is the end of my particular lecture and uh, of part b and in this particular lecture i have considered all the antenna parameters which are very important when you are designing any cst antenna in my further lectures agar main cst antenna jo upload karungi and these you will see there that these antenna fundamental parameters are playing a major role like kabhi kabhi kya hoga ki you have to plot the gain versus frequency because everything will be run in frequency okay because you are plotting something in a radio waves or electromagnetic waves so gain versus frequency you will be plotting like um, directivity versus frequency then you will be plotting versus power density versus frequency and many other so these parameter will play a major role so i recommend you everyone that please go through these lectures and go through the basic understanding of these all because these particular lecture will help you thorough and if you have any suggestions or any uh, comments or any uh, answers or if any issue then please write in the comment box and i will recommend in a future that lecture or any book or uh, which you can study and uh, if you want this particular lecture to be uploaded i'll also upload uh, that particular drive where you can uh, just see this lecture and just go through it so this is the end of my lecture and thank you so much for your patience and uh, thank you so much please post your questions on the comment section Thank you.